All right, on this edition of the Fit Rockstar Show, we have a very special guest. She's all the way from Russia. Actually, she lives in California. Four-time Miss Fitness Olympia, 10-time Arnold Classic Champion, Oksana Gershina. Hey! <laughs> Yes, дор- absolutely. I'm going, ребята, я собираюсь сказать на русском языке. Сегодня я в гостях у потрясающей, замечательной Изабел Турел. А, это чемпионка в, в категории Women's Bodybuilding, IFBB Pro и а, победительница многочисленных турниров IFBB Pro League. Поэтому я счастлива здесь быть. Не забудьте обязательно посмотреть этот эфир. Как я понимаю, будет что-то очень интересное. Так что спасибо. That was beautiful. I have no idea what you said, but it's so beautiful. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming. How was your flight? Everything was good? Yes, everything good. perfect. Great. Easy. Um, I want to talk about you and all your accomplishments and achievements, your positivity of such a great mindset. Um, you're a true champion. Inside and out, uh, just beautiful person overall. And when did you decide to get into gymnastics? Because that's where you started, right? Yes. How yes. did that? What age were you when you got into gymnastics? Um, well, my parents gave me to the gymnastics when I was like eight, mm-hmm. c- close to eight years old. And of course, coaches said, "No, it's too late," because usually, you know, they took kids from six now four. Uh, years when they four years old so but they started to test at me check my flexibility and everything they said okay and of course they were so angry at my family because at my mom and dad because they said where why you keep this girl at home <laughs> she's she has talent she has flexibility she you know she's she could she could be very good so and that's how I start to I start to be I start to gymnastics and I become big fan of gymnastics mm-hmm. like crazy even if something doesn't went well you know I was like some I was big fan I was crying but I, every time I back to the gym and I keep going so probably my iron power I started to build when I when I and when you say crying gymnast. crying like because it was painful it was hurt it was a lot of work right yes it was painful obviously and um But what I was struggle with is my genetic. So I was always muscular girl, and of course, coaches didn't like it. They try, they tried to give me some diets, crazy diets. So I, I didn't eat anything at all. And when I see my teammates, they eat everything, and they still like this. I was like, what's the problem? Why we are so different? So that's probably was the age where I start to figure out that there is genetic involved in sport. Mm. So there is nothing I could do. I was trying to wrap myself, you know. Really? To, yes. To stop When the I, muscles yes, growing? Yes, stop muscles uh, growing and stop my chest growing, <laughs> you know. Not now, now. Right. I, <laughs> <laughs> you let it out. Yes. Right? Let yes. them grow. Yeah. Yes. That's so, yes, and... Um, 12 years of gymnastics and I still got my master of sport degree um yes I did everything I could for this sport did you ever think about going into the Olympics oh there is no way for me because it's so competitive you know in Russia especially in Russia you have to get to Moscow train in Moscow to uh head coach of Olympics Mm -hmm. um team Mm -hmm. so and of course There's such a talented girls, you know, I was just admire all them. Yeah. Look at you though. I mean, um, you're very <laughs> talented. Well, um yeah, some girls better, you know. Yeah. Some girls always better. So that's why yeah, I admire all the champ Olympics champion who came from Russia mm-hmm. and uh it's just amazing. Yeah. Does your family now because you're so athletic, you grow this muscle Did your family or your dad and your mom do they have athletic backgrounds or no? Uh no, actually my mom not, but my dad he was boxing, he was running, he was the one of the faster ru- runner mm-hmm. in military. So he loves sport and I think my genetics more like 
his genetics. I'm sorry, mom. Прости, mom. Oh. <laughs> they will they always fight whose genetics oh I have. Now, <laughs> always dad, fighting. He seems so cool. Like some of the videos I see you posting, like there was one <laughs> where he was dancing or something. Like, yeah. Look at him go. Yeah. He is uh, he's so much fun. Yes, I I love him so much and of course uh, I'm the same we have the same blood. Oh, yeah. Yes. And the thing which I like about him and which I learned probably from him doesn't matter how situation difficult around you or in your life he always has this freedom inside. He's it's like a kid. What do you he, mean by freedom? Can you explain that? Freedom means you're not distracted you're not um fully how to say focus on every single issues around you you just can like switch for life? a second and enjoy life mm -hmm. and just enjoy be appreciate what you have at this moment right now so and i was like we we moved a lot in russia and i saw my family struggle a lot with moving from one place to another place and it's not like you're renting the house like in the united states no they kick your ass oh. is it did they say it right well yes you did yeah <laughs> yeah they kick you so they said tomorrow you should move right out and without explanation and everything and my dad had two kids two girls and I saw them going through it. I don't know what could I do if something like this happens. In Russia, it's just different uh, rental system uh, in Russia. So, mm -hmm. and I saw my dad. He never show us that he upset or anything. They never uh, argue with mom. They just let's have a dinner. You right. know, like it doesn't matter. Even when we were in car, which move stuff, we stuck there to finding some other place to stay he's always tonight we're gonna have the best dinner you know what a like great father yes he's amazing and uh, you can he tell just, he has a very good spirit just see like that when i saw the video of your father dancing and just how he was about it really touched my heart because you can always tell a good person when you see him and the fact i didn't mean to make you cry i'm sorry it was not my intention but i can always tell a very good people when I see him. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay. I hope these are good tears. Oh, yes. I just, when I talk about my family, yeah. it's just. Well, this is what makes you amazing because you are such a genuine hearted person. You know, um, you're very inspiring to people what you do. You have such a positive mindset. You know, you're always telling people to keep on going, never give up, you know, and hearing, I wanted to talk about your family because it just shows where you came from and how strong of a person you are. I mean. Yeah. It, oh, thank you. It's just, you know, when you remember all these days and how you, it's just touching me because I remember how my family, you know, positively went through it without anything without showing us. When did you find out what they were going through? Like, when did you finally come to realize, oh my gosh, uh, I didn't we know. We saw all this. They didn't, mm -hmm. like, you know, it's not like kids go in another right. room. Okay. We live together, and it always happens on our, you know, we, we saw it. So they just um, didn't make it like a drama or something, you know, mm -hmm. like family sometimes fighting mom and dad about some Right. shoes and but we saw and we never ask any questions because we already we see do you feel that that's something we're missing in society today is that some people just think so negative and they just they don't even look at the positives and well it's always going to be like this you know but it's their choice people right. who choose negative um, thoughts about anyone or critical you know being critical it's it's their choice i i can't tell i feel sorry for them no it's probably what inspired them you know with their lifestyle so but it's hard it's hard to live with negative thoughts right it it's is. so hard yes so I but know. you have to think ahead and think you know everything's going to be okay yeah you tell yourself you got to work hard for it you know and keep on going like yeah. you always say now when you know going back with your family when did you decide you know what i'm going to go into the mpc 
and do something with this gymnastics background I have and do fitness. When did you decide that? Uh, to compete in fitness? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, uh, when did you find out about it? I think it was 2000, oh, 19, uh, 19, oh, gosh, I think 94, I think, yes. And that's where I start to work in um, fitness clubs as aerobic uh. instructor, as dance instructor. And uh, um, so I study in university at the same time I start to work because we need money. Right, right. Yes. And so I met my husband, Boris. And um, now he's my husband. Back, back then, he was just a personal coach. And so you met in the gym? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> at the gym. And he came to me and he said, do you want to try to work out? You have great body. So at this moment, when I start to, when I switch from gymnastics to fitness and bodybuilding, I start to f hearing compliments about my body which i have which i have never heard mm -hmm. before mm -hmm. because it's always was i'm fat and gymnastics fat. yes wow because you know it's just so right. strict in right. russia right. so that's why like nothing you don't eat anything and you come and you're still fat you know and um so and that's why i, I start to hear comments i mean compliments and i decide why not maybe i should really accept my body as it is and just take it as a gift from God and just continue, you know, working on it. Now, for those who don't know, Boris is the backbone. Like Boris, he is an amazing man and he has a good eye for everything. And so at that moment, did you already know Boris or is this your first time actually interacting with him? Yeah, we met uh, at the gym first time. Yeah. So that right there was the yes. first interaction. Yes, yes, absolutely. And then he was he's the one who pushed you to get into fitness. Yes. yes. Wow. We had a funny story because, you know, he, everybody knew he was in love with me. Oh, my God. And yes, everybody. And but he you? Was, I knew, too, but I, I didn't like these <laughs> feelings. Sweet. You know? I was like, no, no. So, uh, and I remember he's always bringing me food. Like every time we had one um, lock room together, uh -huh. guys and girls, and there is refrigerator, there is some stuff which we need to stay when we work all day. So, and he always, when I opened refrigerator, he always had food for me. And, and probably that's why he got me. <laughs> that is so food. sweet. Yeah. Yes. Food. The food is what won you over? Yes, yes, because so, I always was hungry because I worked I was uh, on free jobs. It was <laughs> wow. choreographer uh, at the musical school as choreographer and university, and then back to the gym. It was, and I was leave so far. When he knew that I live so far away wow. from the gym, he was probably yeah. Maybe that's why he always had some food for me. What ready. a sweetheart! Yes, Aww. and. <laughs> it was just yeah. So that won you over, but anyway, going on. So he told you to do this into fitness. Yep. So after that, when did you decide? Okay, I'm gonna start training for a fitness competition. When did you do your first competition? Uh, I think it was uh, 1994 or 95, if I remember. It was local local show. Mm -hmm. It's there's not there wasn't many shows so it was local show and i did fitness because we didn't know there was no figure right there was only fitness right, right. and yeah i think i got third place or second i don't remember but it wasn't first people always ask how i got here i was willing to work just a little harder than everyone else every damn day If I can have hundreds of hours back, you know I'm gonna grab them. Spending hours prepping chicken, rice, and vegetables, F that. I rely on perfect nutrition. I rely on trifecta. And I like it. I like, I like being on stage, I like to perform, so I start to continue. And yes, then I competed Russian Championship, European Championship, World Championship, but I wasn't so long 
like every time I won, I step forward. Mm -hmm. And after I got the opportunity to get pro card, because back then to get pro card, we have to win overall European championship and world championship. You had to win two shows. Yes. Wow. Yes. Talk about a challenge. Yes. Yes. And so, and when I won it, I decided to ask for pro card. And that's it. I got pro card and I moved. You right so you moved away. to, did you move to U.S. after yeah. that? Mm -hmm. And then your first pro show was? Um, and what was that well, moment we like? Well, apply, we apply for Arnold Classic. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yes. And I start to, my preparation, and that's where we got tickets to United States, visa and everything. So, and, Bo and Boris saw me preparing, and he saw me exciting, and he didn't told me that I got denied. So oh. not denied, but they, I'm not invited. <laughs> so, but I was so excited. So we came for Armed Classic, but just just to see around, mm -hmm. just to see what it is. And I saw IFBB Pro Fitness for the first time. I saw this amazing competitors on stage. I was like, wow. And he asked me, do you really want to do it? Do you want, do you think you can do it? I said, yes, yes, I want it so badly. So yeah, and that's how we moved. Tell me about your first Arnold Classic experience. First Arnold Classic. And when you saw Arnold, what was that like for the first time? It was unbelievable. It was like <laughs> Were you he, speechless? Like hero from the, <laughs> the screen <hero>. came out. <laughs> That's he, awesome. He was absolutely the same. I remember my first my first feelings. The same like on TV. Absolutely. Everything. I was I saw I was watching him like, oh my God. Yeah, it was so interesting. I couldn't believe. I just it's amazing. Tell feelings. me about your first Arnold win. What was that like? Win? Uh, I think it was uh, when I did my flash dance routine, if I'm right. Yes, it was pole dancing. Yeah, it was pole routine using the pole. I didn't expect it at all. And you, you think know, you're going to win? I never thinking about it because the victory is more satisfied. Is more how to I, say I, satisfied mm -hmm, when mm -hmm. you don't expect it when right. you just give your 100 percent to your work to do your best you could to share your feelings with audience you know just to what you feel and if you know if not then not if not first place then not but you still feel great about what you do what you did on stage and what you share with audience but when i got first place of course it was amazing you are one of the greatest fitness competitors of all time. Oh, no. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, but before Thank you became you. a pro or when you, you know, was there someone that you looked up to in the fitness industry at all? Oh, wow. There's a lot of girls I was look up to. One of them, Adela Garcia, mm -hmm. uh, Kelly Ryan, and... Um, uh, Kelly Ryan and Susie Carey. Oh, yes. oh my oh, God! Yeah, I remember. Yes, yeah. she was great. I, yes, Jen Hendershot. Oh, I mm -hmm. love these girls. Mm -hmm. I was like, it was absolutely amazing. Their strength and their power and uh, physique, absolutely amazing. I was yeah impressed. Your 2014 first time Olympia win. That had to be a huge rush for you when they called your name and that you're the winner. I mean, what was what was that feeling like? What was going through your mind at that time? At those moment, honestly, I was so tired. I remember I was just so tired. I knew I would, I don't know why I thought I would never get Olympia title. Again, you see, you really didn't you think, know, wow. And I, I was like, okay, I got my title, that's it. Like, it's enough. And then I start to realize how many people uh, look up to me and how many people they're expecting, okay, what's next? And uh, so I have to, um, how to say, defend my title. I understood it. Yes, mm -hmm. I really have to defend my title and that's the right way to do. You can just get a title and <laughs> run away. So, and um, yeah, and that's how you know, we stay in the sport and... So I want to... Because uh, you told me a long time ago and I want to go over this again. So when you prepare for your routines, 
it's not like some people just wing it maybe a month before you don't oh no that yeah yeah can you tell our our viewers how how long you take to actually work on these because i was i was like oh my god seriously that long? Uh, well, I couldn't take a day from uh, without acrobatic. I mean, when we work with weights, it's okay to take a break. Body sometimes need a rest. It's fine for muscles to get rest. But what's um, if it's about performance, acrobatic or gymnastics? No way. You have to practice not every day, but every other day. And if I miss, let's say, four days in a row or five days, it's big step back. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm losing my concentration. I'm losing um, flexibility, not, but still, it's, it's harder to stretch. Mm -hmm. So that's why I, I never take break from acrobatic. And I always preparing. So even now for Olympia, right, I'm already prepared. I already have three ideas for the routines you know some ideas which i just i just let them go and you know it anything comes strongly to my mind that's it's amazing me, it's, the routines you it. put together uh so you told me a while back <laughs> usually it may take you like eight months six months to prepare for routine well when we younger maybe it's to it's took for some girls you know less uh but with age like no you have to train harder mm -hmm. so if we expect to train less than we used to work out no no yes i have skills obviously but you have to keep this knowledge keep the skills by working out every time what was your hardest routine you ever did uh and i know you didn't get to do it but the one that you wanted to do because we moved from vegas to orlando that sounded like that was going to be a very intense routine which i know you were really wanting to put that on but out of all of them you did what was the most like wow this is a lot of work gosh it's so hard to tell every routine is something uh, difficult uh, but i think very hard was when i came up with sear wheel sear wheel is like big hoop mm -hmm. oh my god in the same with uh, pole fitness when you mm -hmm. bring something this is really hard because you have to switch from fitness to different apparatus and of course we have some we still have some oil on our hands oh, when right. we're yeah. touching the floor mm -hmm. but this apparatus you, you know you have your hands should be ready like cold and just to have good grip and yeah i think um, sear wheel was very hard because it's heavy right. it's so heavy so Besides, you tire it already after doing fitness routine. You have to grab it and move it. Yeah, it was it was challenge. Do you do a lot of you do a lot of filming of your stuff? Like every time you train, you film just to see. Okay, I need to fix this. Yes, this, yes, yeah. yes. Because that's vital, right? Every move. Yes, we film. Yes, I watch it. And when I create performance, of course, I watch it many times, and I see like, okay, I don't like this. Yeah. It's just a long creative so, process. So here's the other interesting thing. So when you get into your character, it is not just putting on the costume. You're actually, you're hiring like an acting coach, right? To, to help you get more into that character. Like you really are living that part. Yeah, I studied in acting school, yes, for this. And of course I learned about acting a lot, a lot. And, um, when I pick some character, it can't be just, oh, I want to be this, or I want to be, I want to be, let's say, Wonder Woman. I want to be, the, right. okay, you want to be Wonder Woman, but do you feel like Wonder Woman? So, for example, I don't feel like Wonder Woman. <laughs> My, maybe some people see right. us, right. right? Especially you, right. like a Wonder Woman or some character. I'm more like Stay but, Puff. <laughs> <laughs> But it's, I think it's more important how you feel about it. So mm. my last performance, for example, the Joker. Amazing. When I saw this, thank you, <laughs> thank you. When I saw this movie, I was, I didn't expect that. I was like, wow, I was so skeptic, skeptical, yeah. skeptical to mm. this movie. And when I saw like 15 minutes of the movie, I remember I turned to Boris, I said, oh my God, he will, he gonna get Oscar. That's 100% Oscar. Mm -hmm. And I saw this movie and I knew there is impossible to bring it on stage like 
this character. Mm -hmm. It's just impossible. Mm -hmm. And we talk with Boris about it because we love the movie, like big fan, maybe obsessed, <laughs> even obsessed with it's this movie. It's a great movie. movie. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, but I was like, no, you can't do your performance worse than movie. Like you can't. Right. You have to somehow be close to what people saw. Sure. So, and yeah, of course I said, no way. And then a lot of challenge in life, in my life, and a lot of mm, difficult situations and everything. And sometimes I was like, oh my God, I feel like him, you know, because I mean, we all, when sure. we saw a movie, there is a lot you of depression relate. and yeah. we uh, see us in his situation, mm -hmm. right? And I start to feel it. And when I start to feel it, I got ideas how I can put pieces together, you know, uh, into one routine. So just feelings, just my, you know, like how he, f mm -hmm. that's what helps you me. You can see it. Like you nailed it. And the cigarette <laughs> and the mouth when you jump in it. Oh, my God. That was just, you have, everybody was going crazy about it. So. You also did the Heath Ledger Joker. Yes. Okay. Yes. So out of both of well, everybody went crazy over that one. <laughs> so out of both those Jokers. You're right. Which one was your favorite? That's interesting because um, when we were trying to do new Joker, right, I was, we talked with Boris, and uh, he said it should not be less than your first Joker, right. because first Joker already, everybody loves it, and mm -hmm. you, you know, you can't be less. I'm like, don't worry, it's gonna be total different. It's just different. So to pick both, to pick one, it's so hard because they different, and different feelings mm -hmm. of those characters who really mad, and you know, like, mm -hmm. yeah, and this one who is just beaten, like, uh, with, um, drama mm -hmm. inside him nothing he could do it's like yeah so it's different it it's, was it's two different things but you nailed both of them and this last one it's just awesome like i said the cigarette you're coming out everybody's going i am in the audience everybody's going nuts <laughs> you know how long did it take you to practice his character because you're right it's not easy yes so i had to take some time right yes it was difficult because first i i started to listen music and music is so dramatic it's mm -hmm. so hard to pick so and i found some you know the beginning when he was kind of dancing on the stairs so yes. i found this one maybe it's good for beginning like you know and transformed to another one which is more epic and like heartbroken and powerful like survival mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. so but connection between both music be, between both team teams right yeah yeah, yeah teams yeah, yeah. uh it was very difficult to find so i found this transformation um kind of like break dancer or you know like um, i don't know and it works fine you know and yeah but it's a lot of work oh my god it's it's crazy even this piece Oh my God, this piece, which is tran transformation, boom, mm -hmm. boom, when he was heated by and all this stuff. Everywhere I went to the store to. You were doing this month? I was doing, <laughs> yes, just to make sure, you know, because. It, so, how many people was looking at you like, I what the heck's care. wrong with her? <laughs> I live in Los Angeles. This is the place <laughs> this is where, a normal thing. <laughs> where people just, you know, used to it. So, does Boris actually have video of you like doing that while you're grocery shopping? Getting <laughs> <laughs> she tweaking what's going on over there with her yeah, he knew he knew that's okay. hilarious oh my yeah. gosh uh what's the michael jackson one was all of your routines <laughs> listen all of them are awesome the michael jackson one was one of my favorites because just everything you did just man that's great thank uh, you yeah and again this is why you're a four-time miss olympia 10-time arnold classic champion and we you know you have so much to talk about you're also in a couple movies right yes Yes, you were also was, on a, a uh, uh, what was the, the show you was on? America Got Talent. America Got Talent. Now, walk me back through that. Because Simon mm -hmm. was, like, I think when I seen the video, Simon's just like, but you were like, you're in a disguise, right? And then all of a sudden you started doing all this acrobatic type stuff. Walk yes. me through that. Uh, 
I remember the video which everybody saw on on TV. Mm -hmm. It's a black and white dress. And uh, I remember from, from audience, people were screaming, oh my God, I love your legs. I love your muscles. <laughs> I didn't feel I was like muscular. I was like, I'm normal. But for this audience who has never seen probably girl with muscles, especially during some acrobatic, for them it was like impressive. So yeah, it was it was fun. And my first audition, which didn't get into uh, on TV, I did Black Swan. Oh, wow, that was a great... Oh. Oh, yes, of course, I use another music, Requiem, yeah. for this um, entrance, but it was so much fun, and that's why I got four yeses from judges. Mm -hmm. And I was so sad because they have to cut some acts, right. you know, because it's... it's uh, it, I mean, it's... You know, it's TV show. Sure, sure. So, yeah, I remember it was so, wow, I didn't expect it at all. And that's how I got into another um, uh, addition, which you guys mm -hmm. saw that on was TV. Cool. Yeah. Tell me about the movies, though. I'm sorry. I, mean, I, got, I get so excited because you've done <laughs> so many things, and there's so much that we only have so much time. So I'm trying to, like, <laughs> I'm like a, a little doggy. Um, but anyway, you were in two movies, three movies, four movies? Uh, I was in one movie, Hero of the Day, uh, if I'm right. It's not big part, but recently you're I got... You're still in a movie. <laughs> <laughs> recently I got um, a role in uh, Serial, Serious, sorry. Serial. You're fine, you're fine. Serious, yes, but they ask us to not mention it yet sure, so sure. but i'm sure guys if if i see it I, I'll, I'll post it but every time it's like bad russian badass russian girl every time it's the same or bodybuilding which i'm not but so you like the, the female john wick uh y yes you know like but every time i said i can be good i can be I nice can be i good. can be romantic i can Aww. love but still if you're russian of course with accent you got to be bad girl bad ass <laughs> bad ass girl with guns and everything you know and cigarettes and, and cigarettes yeah what does boris think about all that boris uh he supported me he loves movie as well you know he like i think we Sometimes when we talk with each other about some movies, oh my God, we went too far. Like, we went too far. It, yes, it's just so interesting. And he dreaming about to make some his own movie because oh, nice. he has great vision. Mm -hmm. His vision is like no one else. I mean, everyone, every each of us has their sure. own vision. And mm -hmm. if we could do the same movie, like everyone's the same, it's going to be different movies, right? because each of us is unique mm -hmm. so yeah yes he's su he supporting and he always make additions for me you know filming me um yeah recently i had so many so many additions it was so much fun even i don't know will i get it or not but it was it was fun even to practice you diet down train hard and supplement smart for months. When the time comes to step on stage, don't leave your tan to chance. Go with the pros. Pro Tan. Number one worldwide since 1987 and the official sponsor of the Olympia for the last 15 years. Don't step on stage without it. Pro Tan. You, I can't, I mean, you're just a multi-talented person. Now, you also have, in Russia, you have your show, the Oksana International Classic. Yes. When is that? Uh, this year, we actually have three shows. Three shows? Yes. Oh, my goodness. Congratulations. Regional, thank you. Regional in uh, Yekaterinburg City in Russia. It's a beautiful city. And uh, two weeks after, we have Pro Qualifier, Oksana Grishina Classic, International Classic. And in August... Your show is the first way I'm announcing it. Uh, in August, we have two pro categories. Oh, wow. Is uh, classic physique and bikini. Oh, very nice. But yes. I'm sorry, fitness girls, I bring fitness now, next now year. Now, isn't I that something? You. She's fitness. And she don't even have... I know, I know. I hate it. But Why? <laughs> it's not everything. I'm just, yes. I'm joking. Yes. One thing I want to compliment you on is that you have wheelchair uh, division in your Oxana oh, yes. International Classic. So I thank you for that because 
you know, I just want to make a, again, this just shows the heart, the big heart that you have. I feel that the wheelchair division doesn't get enough um, recognition. Right. So I really appreciate you and what you're doing for them because you don't have to do that. You know, you don't have to put on these shows, and you do, and you're giving them a stage to perform on. So I wanted to give you a props oh, for that. So I, thank you. I admire this division, I, and I, I inspire it by these people. They inspire mm -hmm. me, and not just me, a lot of people. Mm -hmm. And like you said, I want this category to have more rec mm -hmm. rec recognition, recognition yeah, yeah. right. And I spoke with Nick. I told him uh, Nick is... Um, the beast. Yes, yeah. yes. And he was so happy about that because I know a lot of guys. I know friends from Italy and from Russia who is on wheelchair and who doing amazing work. They looking amazing. And uh, there was no questions for me to put this category. Nice There's no mm -hmm. questions. I was absolutely yes. So, and um, of course, I'm thankful to our federation and mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Manion, Robin mm -hmm. Chunk, Tyler for gave me this, you know, opportunity. What was it like when you first met Mr. Jim Manion? What was that like? Uh, well, I think uh, we, we walked through and of course, we, you know, kind of, um, how to say, we said a couple words to each uh -huh. other just briefly, right. briefly, I got this word. But most of the time it was on stage, I oh, mean, okay. when he yeah. worded me. And he was always laughing and telling something. I'm not going to say what he said. <laughs> 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 yeah, but he is fun. And he's he a very nice man. amazing, mm -hmm. and he is like really strong man, mm -hmm. I think. He knows what he's saying, mm -hmm. you know, like it's just... Um, He's done a not lot of many great people things. like this, mm -mm. yeah. No, there's not. And, you know, it's really great what the Manions are doing. And uh, Tyler, you know, he's done a great job. Um, one of the shows I was at, I think Tampa or something, he was, Tyler's backstage giving all the athletes, the pros, uh, critiques. I'm like, oh who my does God. that? Wow. This is the vice president of the IBB Pro Play. He's back there giving the people critiques, making sure he talks to every That's single amazing. athlete. That's mm -hmm. amazing. a very amazing um uh, I had to ask you, what did JM think of your Joker routines? Was he like going crazy about him? I asked him <laughs> when we were when we st was standing backstage, and I said, uh, how, "How do you like this routine? How do you like it?" He said, "I love it. It's great. <laughs> I love it." I was like, "Yeah," because and because he is a big fan. He's of, a big fan. Um, Batman, yes, Batman yeah. and all this. Um, Heroes uh, mm -hmm. movie about Batman, yes, and looks like I'm <laughs> like picking the Joker, yeah. yes, because Joker, it, it's hard to be Batman. I mean, it's just it's a it's like it's a hero, you yeah. know. I think for me, it's just easier to find, you know, other character. So, are we going to? We're definitely going to see you at the Olympia this year in Vegas. Yes, I'm working on some new skills. I'm working hard already. And um, yes, we'll see. Yeah, I want to, you know, always bring something exciting. Something. You always do. Always. <laughs> I can't even imagine what you're going to do this. Every year is always something crazy and just, oh, my God. Just when you think that you blow everybody's, you blow them even more every single year. So it's amazing what you do. And uh you know, thank God for, you know, Boris being right behind. I did not know that Boris was the guy that got you into that. What an amazing love story. Uh, <laughs> how do you guys keep your, how do you keep the relationship so fresh and love and the support? Because a lot of people don't, they don't get to experience that, you know? Um, we talk with each other. Communication. Yeah. Yes, and that's the most important because when, People get to used to live with each other for a long time, 10 years, 20 years. And of course, you know, suddenly the situation is like they both sitting in the same room, but on the phones or, yes. you know, have their own life. So online life or I don't know. Um, and that's why I'm, how to say, I'm a um, brave person. Like, oh, I don't know how to say this word, fast. So when I feel it, I'm like, stop it. Oh, Let's yeah. talk, That's, <laughs> you no. know, enough. So, and we're trying to spend more time together outside. We sometimes even leave phones uh, at home. It's and very just, smart. And went Malibu Excuse me Beach. one second. Yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, patiently, okay. <laughs> okay, well. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. But no, you see yeah, people yeah, on their yeah. phones all the time. I go out to eat, and there's a couple, one's on the other phone, and they're texting each other. <laughs> oh, my what God. The? I don't get it. Yes, that's scare. That's really mm-hmm. scare. So sometimes we just stopped. or And I don't think feelings, they lose their feelings to each other. No, we just... We just take it for granted, you know, but just let's, let's be appreciative for who is in front of you. You it's have just... such a great person in your life, both of you. You're very lucky to have each other. You just, I'm, like, I'm very lucky. You can see, so like, the, the magic when you guys are together. Like, he's just all smitten and glowing and same with you. And he's like your – and he's tall. What is he, 6'5", six, 6'6"? Six, six? Yes. And you're like <laughs> his little, you know, his little Russian doll, his little <laughs> – He's very protective of you, and it's yeah. so funny. But uh, God bless you guys, because you two are just a, a beautiful uh, pair. And you, you met Boris, right? Of and course, he, I met he, Boris. Yes, yeah. and he's like very calm, not emotionally. <laughs> for no reason, he's not he's not gonna get emotional. But if there's something really funny for him, yes, he's he will get loud. He's very <laughs> like, funny too, and yes. very sarcastic. Like he. He can be very sarcastic with stuff. Oh, <laughs> yes, yes. I was yeah. like, wow, because I met him. So for those who don't know, uh, you actually helped me with a routine, mm-hmm. the Michael Jackson routine, yes. which is a lot of fun. And I'm thinking it's going to be a piece of cake. Oh, no, you're making me work. And it was, <laughs> I think I was there for like a couple of days, and I got right. to meet Boris, and he yeah. helped me out. And mm-hmm. he has he's a judge as well, right? Now, yes, yeah. he become official yeah. regional Congratulations. judge. Congratulations. Good for Thank him. Thank you so much. I yeah. think that's wonderful for him, and mm-hmm. he loved doing it. He see. When I see athletes, for me, I mean, I can see big difference, but not like little. Oh, I God, could he's never every judge. Detail. He's yes, it's crazy. I know. It's, I think this is the most difficult job to, you know, see all these details. I wouldn't want to be judged by Steve. Steve, he makes... <laughs> Man, he makes them work, you know. Yeah. But he is a great judge. Sam, Sandy, all the whole crew, Tyler, mm-hmm. uh, they're great. So what can we expect from you besides an awesome kick-ass routine from the Olympia this year? Are you going to go for a fifth? <laughs> yes. Okay, great. You've had it here first five times. Well, I'm going to do my best, and that's all I can promise. You know, I'll do my best if I find something in my soul that I can share with the audience. Uh, I want to try to be less dramatic, guys. <laughs> in, in, uh, yeah, because it's always something, but life-changing, and I think this is going to be a bright side of, you know, in my life. It, 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 it always was bright side, but it's just challenging, mm-hmm. challenges. So, and uh, we'll see, we'll see. I can't give you answer. I okay. have a lot of ideas and they all funny, they all great, interesting, you know, total different. But I still don't feel to any sure. connect, connection. To, it just hits you. When yes, it, and then yes. Like, this is it. It's easy. One day you just know that's it. And you just see it. You know what's great about you? When you're when you're competing, you're getting ready to compete on the biggest stage in the world. You backstage are still very humble and, and helping with your fellow teammates. Whereas some people I don't see other leave way. me alone. They don't want to be bothered. You're like, hey, can I you know, you're very helpful and you're it's so fitness family, they are like a family. Yes. Well, the fitness is the most difficult division. Oh, yes. And if uh, girls know what gymnastics is, you know, and they sure. know how difficult it is, it's, uh, I, we, like, it, it's, it, how to say, you can't be selfish on backstage because you know that somebody need help, somebody need, or you see somebody too sad or too yes. focused and you're trying to cheer up yeah you can do it you're looking great you your costume i love your costume or something just to give some compliments because if everyone would be the same like focused and you know getting uh, the I energy know, frust- yes 
we couldn't do this job well, all of us, you know, we could do, we could bring better, sh better show on stage if we all fun and, you know, we all excited and we all support each other. I remember years back when we went, when we were backstage, all fitness girls together, Adela was there, Regina De Silva, mm -hmm. you remember, now Whitney and, you know, other girls. Jen Hendershot, I remember, it was mess. Backstage, <laughs> we were screaming, we were supporting each other. And um, first time when I saw it, I was new girl, and I saw it, I was like, oh, my God, that's amazing. Right, how it is. supportive. Mm -hmm. I loved it, you know, and uh, I think that's how it's supposed to be. And some girls did excellent job on stage and some movements that, you know, they were afraid to do. So, yeah, it's... Absolutely. I think I think that's how it should be. It's not bodybuilding because bodybuilding, it's more like very, very indivi individual. Oh, my goodness. But, <laughs> yeah, sometimes girls need help. Sometimes, you know, some injuries or something. Mm -hmm. Darina Wilson also uh, always helpful and amazing. Like, I love, yeah. uh, for me, I'm like you, we're, we're all in this together. Absolutely. You know, we worked hard. We put in the work. We dieted yeah. for that very moment on stage. Yes. If we can be all there for each other, helping each other. Hey, how are you doing? Oh, you see, looks great. Can I help you? You know. Yes. Um, that's the way it should be. You know. Yes. We can't make people do certain Absolutely. things. Absolutely. Yes. It's just but a can you imagine how hurtful it is if some competitor would ask you some questions and you would give, you would get in response. Oh, yeah. Your emotional and uh, your spirit right. going down mm -hmm. for like for reason, oh, you yeah. know. So I think doesn't matter even if bodybuilding guys competing together backstage. I think we should not treat people like this. We should treat us human being. Treat you people know? the way you yes, want to be as treated. a champion. And and as a champion, yes. And you know, kindness goes a long way. It really does. Just by smiling at somebody, and even though they may be having a bit, just that smile can really change somebody. Yes. But you know, I mean, look, you're the walking billboard of positive vibes and positivity. So, real quick, because uh, I have a surprise for you, and I have to kind of wrap, start wrapping this up. <laughs> I can't tell you guys what it is. You just have to watch and see. But um, how do you keep a positive, mi a positive mindset? I know you said earlier, some, you know, you had your moments where you're down, but how did you? keep that positive mind keep on going uh, I think it's appreciation appreciation what happens to you now I don't know anything what happens uh, and you can't just trying to be positive you have to be born positive it's mm -hmm. like in it's uh, inside of yes. you you know some mm -hmm. people I can't change it I just even if something happens I mean, dramatic, yes, I'll, I'll be hurtful, you know, but I will try to find a way to support people around the situation, you know, to make to help. Mm -hmm. I don't know, maybe just appreciation of what we have, what we have done uh, about people around you. I'm still, you know, I'm honored to be here. It's just, it's absolutely amazing. We're honored to have you here. And I just want to touch on some, on some things. So you actually started the pole fitness as well, which that was mind blowing. Very cool. <laughs> Are you guys going to bring that back? You think to the Olympia in the future? I think? hope so. Yes. Yeah. Right now I just so focus on bodybuilding sure, fitness sure. show in Russia. And, but, uh, again, if, somebody don't know i promote uh, pole fitness at the olympia stage 2017 2018 and because of covid we have to stop it because olympia moved to florida right. so now it will be awesome opportunity for girls to you know mm -hmm. to put on amazing show and i would love to promote it because what girls does on pole is just insane and i become in love in this sport it's amazing it's and they keep work. asking they keep asking they send me messages Oksana, what about olympia uh 2022 uh, i said oh i'm doing my best you know because everybody's waiting and i'm sure we can make magic happen we'll, we'll see <laughs> uh what can we do to get more women or girls involved in fitness 
promote ourselves just to show and explain probably how cool it is, how great this division is, and um, uh, and help with you know skills and help just maybe some tutorials how to do it and I don't know just yeah because how people want to do fitness right they watch us girls oh i want to look like oh, this yeah. i want to be like this girl yes i'm gonna do it you know or they all have our their own heroes right now whitney or some other girls because that's uh, fitness different and that's what make it so mm -hmm. exciting mm -hmm. so i think promote just to continue to do what we do okay yeah uh, is there anything you want to say to your fans your your hubby, <laughs> your sponsors, anyone? And in positive note, because um, I want to wrap this up because my surprise is coming here in a few oh, minutes. Wow. wow. <laughs> uh, I want my fans, guys, I just, I don't know if I should say. say or, there, it's fine. No oh, my God. Guys, you are truly amazing, amazing people. Thank you so much for your support through all this year. And now, even when I was come back, I know it was... Uh, not easy but you always crazy supportive and um i i just feel your love and i everything i do i i i'm doing it for you just to inspire you to keep you motivated just to to know that there is no way to give up there is no way to give up you should to continue and uh, ребята хотела сказать вам никогда не сдавайтесь я понимаю что ситуация меняется иногда тяжелые времена иногда хорошие времена не обращайте внимания если вы сейчас не начнете вы не начнете никогда поэтому не сдавайтесь идите вперед не задавайте больше вопросов просто делайте and I want to thank to my Boris my love and my husband I love you so much that's all <laughs> Well, listen, we're looking forward to seeing you at the Olympia, and I really appreciate you coming out and being on the Fit Rockstar show and being here at the Olympia Wings of Strength offices. Thank, Thank you, you so, much. so much. Thank you for having me. All right, guys, signing off with 10-time Arnold Classic champion, four-time, five-time, Miss <laughs> Ma just putting it out there, Miss Fitness Olympia, Oksana Girishina, and I know I messed it up, but she'll kill me later. So. <laughs> Thank you, and uh, we'll see you next time.